We've focused on Hakuho a lot this month, so it's time to branch out and feature other wrestlers, not only for variety's sake, but also to reinforce just how good the White Phoenix actually is. In that regard, this piece on Tokushoryu, based on his doting mother's column for Sumo magazine in March, should really help, revealing, as it does, the sheer dedication shown even to get to his level. 26 tournaments in Division 1, highest rank, Maigashira 2. Mother Emiko tells us January's surprise champion was born Makoto Aoki on August the 22nd, 1986, weighing a hefty 3,860 grams at birth. Extensive gorging on milk and baby food meant he grew rapidly, standing a full head taller than most of his peers at elementary school. As his father, Junji, was a judo instructor, he took up judo first before joining all his friends in the school baseball team. Although not the fastest runner, he boasted the strongest arm around, and soon became a valuable pitcher and batter. Blessed with the ideal physique for child sumo, he joined a local club at the behest of his friend, age 9. From then, until age 15, he was practicing three different sports on six days in the week. That's dedication for you. After representing his native Nara prefecture in elementary school nationals, he joined Umon Sumo Dojo in Osaka's Kishiwada city, pitting wits and brawn against awesome junior high Yokozuna Yuichiro Kageyama, better known to you as Tochi Ozan. It's always interesting to learn which current wrestlers grew up together, and I promise to enlighten you further in the coming days. Tokushoryu and Tochiozan were just two of many great wrestlers born between April 1st, 1986 and March 31st, 1987, collectively known as the Boys of Showa 61. Such were the benefits of training with the young Tochiozan that Tokushoryu placed third at nationals in his final year of junior high. He then followed Kageyama to the sumo powerhouse known as Meitoku High School, which produced none other than Yokozuna Asashoryu. The toku of Tokushoryu naturally comes from Meitoku. Initially averse to university sumo, believing his chances of making it as a pro to be zero, Tokushoryu was persuasively scouted by famed Kindai University sumo coach Katsuhito Ito, a man renowned for turning dogged high school wrestlers into something better than the sum of their parts. His early days at Kindai were marred by cellulitis, so severe at one stage that he was commuting to school each day from his hospital bed. Post-recovery, though, he soon became a team regular, helping them to gold in the prestigious Kochi tournament, and coming within a whisker of being All Japan University singles champion two weeks prior. Such results gave him the confidence post-graduation to follow Boys of 61 rivals Tochiozan and Goedo into the professional ranks. That he did in January 2009. In his first official tournament on the rankings chart, he took the 6th division title with a 6-1 record, defeating fellow Boy of 61 and Kindai graduate Takara Fuji in a final day playoff. Six months later, he scooped the 4th division title. But despite his already 14 years experience and wealth of judo knowledge, progress henceforth was slower than many present-day rivals. He spent the best part of two years trapped in Upper Makushita, Division 3. Over time though, his pushing attacks built on a low center of gravity coupled with a mean inside left, described by Yokozuna Kisenosato as in shape and timing even better than my own, proved a reliable winning formula. Eight unbroken years in the salaried ranks. Mother Emiko cannot hide her surprise at his dramatic seizure of the Emperor's Cup this January, but stresses it epitomizes her son's never-say-die spirit. Despite his expostulations, Nah, don't bother coming down. The family turned out in force to watch him defeat Takakesho live in that decisive match, 
and reveled, with the rest of us, in his title winner's interview. That sense of humour is just so him, Emiko proudly writes of the interview described by Onogawa Oyakata as so good he must have rehearsed it. Her hopes of his avoiding a second straight beatdown in the upper ranks, just as in 2015, were sadly dashed this March, but Emiko holds out hope that his added focus on physical conditioning with age will extend his career long past his upcoming 34th birthday. And I hope Emiko's account underlines how hard you have to work and how good you have to be even to spend two tournaments in Upper Maigashida.